So don't tell my bosses. But getting that golf ball on that tee was probably the most productive thing I did today at work. Which is fine. Some days are slow. Some days are really busy. So it balances out, but I'm actually going to go get my cavity filled. I got a second opinion on my three cavities. Two of them have been there for 10 plus years apparently without any change. So I'm just going to have the one filled. I'm going to drive through Charlotte, see what's going on in Uptown. I don't expect to see many people out and about in Uptown. A lot of the big banks like Bank of America, Wells Fargo just started telling their people not even to come in to work today. Definitely a little quieter than normal. Not as many people being around. I mean, the banks employ like 17,000 people or something just in the city, so if they're not here, it's going to be quieter. protests going on lately in Charlotte. People upset about a lot of stuff. I thought I'd get in the mix as well protesting today. Chipotle charges an exorbitant amount of money for their guacamole. So when they forgot to charge me for it today, I did not bring that to their attention. I let it slide and did not volunteer to pay two dollars for a scoop of guac. The protests remained peaceful. I'm not sure if it made a difference or if anyone even knew what happened. Pretty sure they just didn't realize that I had guac on there. But I didn't bring it up. And that was my way of saying, I'm gonna get a little bit of my $2 back every other time you've charged me for a scoop of guac. Don't judge me. So, I guess, go, go right ahead, but it happened. I don't have the best memory, so there's a chance that I got a cavity at some point in my life and had it filled, but I don't remember. This could be the first. Let's do this. <laughs> All done! Just had the one filled. Up here. I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Wasn't that bad, really. Cleanings are more painful, I'd say. Dentist was really good. Numbed it up, didn't feel a thing. Was more curious about the whole process than anything. <laughs> looks like neighbor built a fence. And it looks like a vinyl fence. Let's investigate. Well, there you have it. Classic vinyl fence. In case you've ever wondered, this is the back corner of our property, I suppose. This is our little forest. Our little poop-laden forest. It's scary walking around back here. Jade's poops out here, so you just never know. <laughs> okay, been a rough week. Uh, some rough videos this week, but streak is alive. Still a video every day. We're keeping it going. Had the carpets cleaned, and they still stink. It's been seven days since they were cleaned. Are we that dirty that the carpets stink after seven days? I'd like to think that no. Anyway, I have this thing where I can't let go of crap like that. So I had to send an email to the company and be like, Hey guys, I think we're going to have a problem here. And uh, their response was blaming me for, Well, I don't, I don't know what you did to your carpet over the last seven days. So there's no way we would even think about fixing it or taking a look at it. Which just upset me more because, come on. At least tell me what you do and what you did. <laughs> Gotta be able to just let things go, you know. It's something that I struggle with. I have this like desire to always have things like justice has to be served, which is just not healthy for just letting things go, you know? Can't just let things go. Gotta just let things go. <laughs> Crew, how's your day been, man? Good. Yeah? Uh -huh. What was the best thing about school this week? Watching Frog and Toad today. Watching Frog and Toad? What is that? It's a book. Well, we watched a video of Frog and Toad too. Mm-hmm.
We're going to wrap this up today. Thanks for watching. How do we end it? See you!